How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about VPS hosting specifically and what it is and how it can be useful to you. Now, there are lots of web hosting providers out there and it can be confusing as to which one could be the best choice for you. But I do recommend Hostinger as one of the most versatile ones as they have a lot of VPS plans specifically for VPS, whether you're looking for affordable VPS or a VPS plan that has a whole lot more than most other VPS hosting providers. You have a lot of flexibility and it's a very good option that offers a lot of value and resources for a very reasonable price. So if you're interested in hosting or you'll find links to pricing discounts as well as a full review in the description down below. Now, VPS stands for Virtual Private Server. And VPS hosting is a type of web hosting service that uses virtualization technology to provide a private and isolated environment for each customer. As you can tell right here, shared hosting is when a bunch of users are sharing the server. Uh, dedicated hosting is where you get your own server, which is the most expensive type of hosting. And VPS hosting is when you have a bunch of servers supporting your website. In case one of these servers lags behind in terms of performance, the other servers will make up for it. And a VPS is a virtualized version of a dedicated server, where a physical server is divided into multiple small virtual servers. Each VPS functions as a separate server with its own resources such as CPU, memory, and storage space. This allows for more control and flexibility compared to shared hosting, as each user has their own dedicated resources. VPS hosting is a great option for those who need more resources and control than shared hosting but do not want to invest in a dedicated server because, well, it's a very expensive type of hosting. It allows the user to have root access to the virtual server, which means that they can install and run any software they want. And they also have more control over the server configurations. VPS hosting plans typically include features such as dedicated IP addresses, automatic backups, and 24-7 customer support. And it's a great option for those who are expecting a moderate to high traffic volume and want more control and resources for their website. So to conclude, VPS hosting provides a virtual private server, giving users more control and resources than shared hosting. And Hostinger's VPS hosting plans also include, again, SSD storage and dedicated IP addresses, making it a great option for those who need more control over their website. And what I also like about Hostinger's VPS uh, options right here is that you are able to opt for more affordable VPS options, whereas other hosting providers uh, only have the most expensive options for VPS. Uh, you do have a little bit more flexibility uh, with Hostinger, so you can go for as little as VPS1 with $3.99 a month and all the way up to VPS8 costing you $77.99 a month. But you do get dedicated IP addresses with all of them and a good deal of resources. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in hosting or you'll find links to pricing discounts in the description down below, as well as a full review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the web hosting provider. And all the plans are covered by a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can test drive hosting or for 30 days risk-free before you can make the full commitment. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.